Hey guys, this is Ishmael Lamte. In today's video, we are going to go through the pictures that we took from Shari, that is the hanging village during our second visit. So as you can see here, I have lots of pictures which has all been edited. So we are going to go through them one after the other in no particular order. So without not talking further, let me just go ahead and then launch this first picture. So this is a picture of one of um, the old ladies and Shari who is still strong and fit. Um, who was uh, pounding that is a pumpkin or as at the time um, this picture was taken so that's the same thing so this is a different view she's done pounding and she's actually collecting them from um, the mortar then we have one uh, man this this is a, a very nice picture I must say it's one of my favorites um, the attitude uh, and the picture looks pretty cool so you can tell that he's not so much of a happy person he's been thinking and the rest that's what this particular portrays to me in a way so let me just go ahead and go to the next one so this is like a different shade of that same picture that's like a darker version of it and yeah so this is a picture of a young lady who was pounding um, fufu so if you saw from the documentary they pound fufu with about two to three people you know pounding and no one is actually staring so as they pound they pound in a certain way that it stares by itself so um, so as you can see i think this one she she was the only person pounded before the other person they join in so you notice that this goes in and this comes this goes and this comes so this was the turn of the lady that is the turn of the guy so that's um, just about what's happening there and there's a picture of one lady who i think was having a breakfast so this was shot in the morning we got there early in the morning so i think she was having something to eat and yes so at this point she didn't give a pose for the camera and she got her shot and then we have a picture of um, a young um, is it yeah i think there's a girl um with the either the mom or grandma you know posing for uh, the camera so uh, that's like a different um, shot over there and then we have a close-up so i think uh, if not for what she have on um, her nose it would have been a perfect picture however it looks great i like her smiles i like her tiny teeth and there's another, you know, um, you know, the view of that same picture. And then we have um, the kitten here. So this point, we this was where we stood to fly the drone. It was like a level ground, and we had a lot of kids coming there because they had and had seen the drone. So at this point, it was two drones. So then, you know, making a lot of noise in there. So they all did come, got out there, and after we were done flying, we gave them, you know, they wanted to, you know, they were just coming closer. So give it to them they all had a feel of it so as you can see that's Jima in there you know posing for the camera with um, the kids in the village and at this point we have a lot of things happening in here so if you take a very good look at this particular picture there is a very um, bottom part which is the foundation of the building so this are done with um, rocks which are you know layered on top of each other um, to a certain level and uh, um, according to them these um, are done and then left for some years before the actual building is put on top of it so that's what you're seeing here and then we have a lady you know um, posing out of you know her window so at this point we were flying the drone closer in there so she just you know she brought, was trying to you know have a look at whatever was going on in there and then behind it you have the vegetation or let's say she likes the forest or the bushes and that happens to be like the last part um, of um, the place so when you are from the base you climb up there you get to the level ground there are some buildings to your right but at this particular point there is no building that goes uh, beyond that so that's it and there's a close-up of that same um, lady or a yeah, woman who was you know peeping through the window which is a very nice photo like it, it is the composition is very beautiful, I must say. So let's just move on. Same lady in here. This is a point where we were going to the waterfall. So this particular session, they used to have water flow from in there. So this is a stairs where this man is descending down. So we are descending down and you take a bit to your right before you get to where the boy is. So at this point, water does flow from here. That goes through here. But as of when we got in there, the water had dried up a bit so it had to let them go walk a bit you know further to go get um water and this was at the force there are some you know the kids were showing us some diving skills so this one picture of one guy who was diving into the water and yeah <laughs> so he's actually suspended 
and the air and we have um, that um, Victor that's Curtis and we have the kids um, behind in there and back to the village so this um, very you know if you look you notice that you have a village you have some mountains behind um, to the right and then it goes on and on so those are some of the reasons why you barely get um, natural connectivity when you're in the village because of the blocks from the mountains and back to our old woman uh, who was doing her pounding i think at this point she was cooking here so she's done pounding um, she, i think she was preparing palm nut soup and there's another view of um, the pot on fire and we have water being poured into the pot and we have a young boy in here this is a very beautiful picture i must say so these guys followed us to the waterfalls at this point i don't know i was having the camera i was um i was tired i should say but i saw him in this and it did catch you know my attention i was like you know just put it back on let me take a picture of you he did it and i took a picture of him and yes yeah, so we have another shade of that same boy we saw earlier on so I took another picture of that guy and that was just about it so we have um, a couple more kids in here uh, i like his eyes yeah and so this was when they had a feel of the drone um after we were done flying and yeah so this like a different yeah and so you can see that as well and some of them i should say were scared to hold it i don't know i think it was going to cut them catch them or whatever they were thinking so not all of them had a feel of it but most of them did um, have a feel of it so at this point the drone was in the air and they, were, they kept pointing to it so i found it interesting i took a picture of that uh, same thing here so they were all like you know yeah, it's, it's it's over there it's over there so they're pointing to the drone and this time we're flying at, at a different direction so they were all looking that direction they're still pointing to the drone so so these are just pictures of those kids and we have one woman here so she, she was passing by she saw that we're flying drone we're taking pictures and she was like you know what i want you to take picture of me too so she did give us a couple of poses so i think uh, i have just one in here yeah right so there's another one and we took a couple of pictures of her so she she i should say she was an interesting character in there and then we have some people you know peeping from their windows looking at what we're doing down there yeah so that's the woman <laughs> like his mouse and then back to the kids still you know looking at the drone pointing to it and then you know one thing i should say is that um that there, there, there are points at the village which are very steep and these guys or these kids are not afraid like they could just go close sometimes you see where someone is coming out from it's like really yeah you'd be scared for them and they, they totally they're totally fine with that so as you can see where these guys are standing it's like a steep place that they are standing and they're so much okay as you say well they grew up there we didn't grow up there so that's the difference and that's another picture of that and then back to the kids and then to the village so there's also a different view when you stand at the top this is where we have the level ground so this path in here is what leads to their water source as well as um, to the waterfalls and then still having the village uh, at this point we go to the church so this is like a cross and then you have some cobwebs in there which you know makes it look cool and so right so if you look at this particular picture the kids that we saw earlier on were standing somewhere around here and we're totally fine so you can just imagine this is a very steep place where you trip before you're going to hurt yourself but these kids are just you know like they are they don't seem to be afraid of these uh, things they're just fine so that's 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 just about it as you can see and let me just continue so there's still the picture of the village let me just move on from there um, yeah, so this was a different section from the village. This one we've seen earlier. Let me just keep moving on. Whoa, so this is one of my favorite, as you see. I like the smiles from the boys, especially the one uh, the, to my right. Uh, I, 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 li I like this picture a lot, I must say. And this is also a um, different view from the village. So this is um, a bunch of firewoods that have been stacked together that's um, there and this was where we we're walking you know just walking around just taking what we could see um, that we found interesting and the rest and good so at this point you're going to be seeing series of um, old people especially men in here so this was when we went to the um, should I say the chief or the elders to inform them about our coming and the rest to put 
before them why we were there and you know seek for their permission or approval to be able to go ahead to film so this is one of the pictures that was taken and this is another one which is very cool this is also another one of that same person so he was you know posing for the camera i, I must say it was very interesting because most of them were very friendly um they didn't pose for us you know giving us different um, you know styles and the rest and, and then we also have a young boy in here with a different attitude and then we have two boys one trying to pose for the camera yeah come on swag on so and we have two girls also in here very beautiful kids back to our two boys and then we have a very sharp edge of some of the buildings over there so as you can see we have the rocks they have clay on top of it you have the rocks and then clay on top of it before the actual building is put up and then we have a couple of um, elders in here um, the yeah, same um, elders here as well this one we've seen and then we have three others here good so this one uh this particular point we're trying to find out from them some of the challenges they do have in the village and i must say this man had lots of attitude like he was i don't know the passion in which he was talking he was asking his questions and the rest you could you see that i think we took more pictures of him so let me just um go for it a bit good you can see that from here it's like why yeah Anyway, so that was just about it. And so this also happens to be, I think he's um, a chief priest over there. Once we got there, he was in white smoke and then he had to go change to the black smoke. I don't really know the reason behind that, but yeah. And if you look behind, so let me just come back here. If you look behind him, if you go a little bit further, there is a steep place. The buildings are down there and behind it is um, like, you know, mountains, series of mountains over there. So that's the uh, same the chief priest here and then we have a couple more elders i i must have liked this particular picture um and the black you know black and white it looks pretty cool i should say and yeah we have a few more elders and there's some kids here so that's the one woman good so i must say upon all the pictures we took this is my favorite picture yeah i i don't know but uh, I can't really tell. I don't know if he was posing, you know, earlier on if he was posing for um, the camera. But at this point, I don't know if he was dozing off, if he was sleeping, or he was posing. But I should say, I, I, I pretty much like this uh, picture very much. The composition of picture looks very great. And then we have another, you know, version of the same um, picture in there. And then we have a close up of one of the chief priests over there. So another close up. And then we have the elders. And yeah, so this was the Ochiame um, who we had a chance to interview so we had to talk to him and then he had to interpret um, you know, it to the elders so if you get to a chief palace you speak through the chief spokesperson or the Ochiame so that was basically what was happening in here and I must say he's very knowledgeable um, he has yeah he knows a lot of history about the place so that was um, we got a lot of information useful information from him then we still have some Elders. So I think uh, that is all, all the pictures, right? So these are all the pictures. Um, there should be more. We also had some drone pictures, but I think for this particular video, I will end it here and I'll put a link of um, this particular album in the description of this video so you, you can go ahead and then have a look at them. And if you want to include them in anything, maybe a write up or a blog or anything, you just have to credit, you know, um, me, of course. So I have my watermark on all the video, um, on, on all the photos. So if you take a look at this, um, this there's a watermark on every aspect of the photo. It's very important to credit uh, me, um, as well as me and my team for taking this amazing photos in case you want to use them for any of your projects. And if you would want to have the watermark taken off, then probably you're looking at you know, purchasing them for your um, project. So you can also reach out uh, and then we can discuss that and see how that is going to go so basically these are some few pictures we took from the hanging village and it's been very nice going through them with you so there's going to be a link to them and you can have a look at them so thank you very much for watching this video in case you're new kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime i have a new video you get to see it so once again my name is Ishmael Lamte. thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one